Guys, I just heard someone at the door. Previously on Lost. We've been chosen for something? You and the other residents of this home have been chosen to go to the grand opening of the new Georgetown Amusement Park. Call me Captain. Mayor George. I mean, we can't have anybody actually die in roleplay, right? We gotta all keep our tempers in check and work together if we want to figure out a way off this island. You hear me? There's this feral girl who we saw earlier in the woods. He's the one who sabotages us every time we make something to get home. Why would I be breaking your dinky little rowboats? I've been actively trying to get you guys off this island. I can get inside information for you, and then together we can find the real saboteur and get everyone off the island. We are stuck here. A crappy little raft that doesn't even have an engine isn't going to change that. We're just going to get it stranded somewhere else. I saw him talking to her about some kind of phone. I mean, what the heck is going on with him? If I were you, I'd watch my back. So, uh, George, how'd you get stuck on this island, anyways? Well, regrettably, I was the first one here. Penny for your thoughts. If you want to blame someone, I'm the one that got nosy. Hey, Mr. Mayor! Wanna go to a LARP event where people get trapped on an island and pretend to die, maybe? Would I? Alright, now the rules are simple. You're the leader. Whenever I bring somebody back here, you as the leader must bring them to your camp. Fine by me. Hey, you're it. We. <laughs> yeah, I'm really second guessing my abilities at this point. Uh, don't worry about it, dude. You're just following the rules. That's an admirable trait to have. Thanks, Colin. Guys, look. A boat. Hey, maybe we can call for help. Good idea. <gasps> Wait. Look at the boat. What are you talking about? It looks like an ordinary pirate boat thingy. Oh my gosh, that's our pirate boat! Man, you know, I can't seem to put my finger on it, but we looked a bit different back then. Huh. How do you guys own a pirate ship in Georgetown? That's completely illegal. If you take control of it, this could be our way out. <laughs> That's why you're my favorite assistant, Anna. Oh! This reminds me. I'm putting my two weeks in. What happened to when phones were just for talking? Wow. Hey, Hank. I just wanted to say thanks again for doing this, man. You're a big part in making all this stuff work out. The money will be left for you at home. Thanks again! Alright, so obviously we know this is our guy, because this is sketchy as hell. Where did you get this phone from? Next to some guy with big black pants. No way, he was big. Not his pants. His black was big. He was black. I don't know. The perfect lead. Alright, I'll go find him. Oh, hey man, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty well. Just have a quick question. What were you doing after you dragged that girl into the forest? The first? The forest. I just examined her body for ticks. Don't want to skin a creature with Lyme's disease, or whatever. Speaking of which, I decided to cook her too. I was just heading back to the shore to ask people what they wanted for toppings. Want to walk back with me and away from that direction? Sure, pal. This will be a story to tell our grandchildren. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, hey Dave. Did you prepare the meal? Yeah, yeah. Hey, can you gather the group for me? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Hey everyone! Our savior Dave wishes for us to gather! Well, I've come here to ask you all what toppings you want on your slice, slice of crazy feral girl meat. How, How about the people with black pants and or features, features come forward to tell me first? 
You're up first. You look like you could use a good meal. Follow me. Is there any pepperoni? Hello. Thank you. Oh. Okay, fine. <laughs> Joe, Joe. Hey, what's wrong? You were right about Dave. I confronted him and he lied straight to my face. He's got to be in cahoots with his jungle chick. Well, then we gotta catch up to him. With his rage and her feral nature, they could be real dangerous. All right, Tubby. The gig is up. We know it's you. Yeah, Tubby. No, I, I just called him that. You can't- What are you guys talking about? I just followed you out here to get a nice meal. I have no idea what's going on. Well, really, then what is this? The money will be left for you at home. Thanks again. Got an explanation for that, Hank? That? I was just congratulating myself for finally taking some time off of work! Of course back then I didn't realize that this island was filled with sociopathic teenagers! Okay, so judging by what you just said, plus the pictures of your family we now see on your home screen, we realize that you're probably a decent man and we made a mistake. Thank you for being somewhat rational. Now let me down! You know, we would love to, but there's a chance you could tell the others what we did, and that's the last thing we need right now. So, uh, sorry, Hank. Why, you little... That's what should have done my helicopter! Well, I guess we have our sabo sabotage, sabotagers, saboteurs. We have our s people who sabotage. We found them. All right, here's what I suggest we do. I will jump on the boat and do my especially fantastical mayoral dance. Then, when they all dart for me, Caleb, you go back and you pick up one of those cannonballs. What's, what's going on? You guys like deaf now or something? Oh, hello there. Hey, has anyone seen Hank? Everybody, come quick! Dave and that crazy girl are abducting people! Why are we listening to you? Since when do we take orders from some shaggy-haired weeb? No, guys, he's serious. Something fishy is going on. Really? Let's listen to him then. Oh my god, it's Hank! Are you alright, sir? Who did this to you? It was that blonde! And that crazy freak! They did it! Those damned commies! What should we do, newfound leader? We prepare for battle! Next time that blonde steps on the beach, we pillage and plunder him! To death! To death! To death! <coughs> nah, let's go. Wise men say, only fools rush in. I can't help falling in love with you. Shall I say, would it be a sin? Cause I can't help falling in love with you. I can't help falling in love with you. Hell yeah, we got him! You sure this is the guy? Positive. It all adds up. You see, the hint says that Waldo is next to the merry-go-round, but he's not next to the merry-go-round itself, but rather next to the sign on the left that says the merry-go-round. And look, there he is. That's amazing. We did real good today. Yeah, we did. <laughs> wow, what a way to ruin the moment. I could say the same thing. Man, that guy is creepy. Oh my god. That's the spy! <laughs>
Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Oh crap, we gotta go save them. Well, do we really? Yeah, we gotta. Duh, fine. Oh, morning already? Hey you, where's my coffee? So, this is the guy? I don't know what a guy is. He's not the guy. I am. And you are? I'm the guy. Mr. Salesman, you're a pirate. Explain yourself. Ever since I was a wee lad, I wanted to be a pirate. But thanks to me at George here, once I grew up, I realized it was illegal. So after years of second guessing myself, I finally did the only logical thing I could think of. Conning half the town into being stranded on an island so I could seal all this stuff and sail away scot-free. <laughs> hey, what do you have against the Scots? I happen to like Scottish people. That's actually pretty rad. Oh, stop it. No, you really deserve some credit. That's not something just anyone could pull off. It takes a true pirate like yourself to be that committed. I myself have secretly had similar dreams, but I never managed to accomplish them. Well, if you could help me get the rest of the town onto that island and change some of the laws around, maybe I could make room for you and my crew. I'd do anything to help your dream, sir. Just untie me and I'll start right away, Captain. <laughs> You'll make a great addition to the team, George. What the heck is he doing? Uh, I don't know. I don't follow politics. Oh, sir, are you okay? Don't bother with me! Go after him! I have an announcement to make! I'm innocent! And we can prove it! The real culprit is Joe! He's been slowly taking over the group to eventually kill you all! <laughs> what? I'm not the leader. And I'm definitely no spy. Oh, well, crap. Then who is the leader? Colin? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, shut up already! I've had enough of your snarky remarks! I, I didn't even say anything snarky, I was just- First, I get stranded on an island, then I get tranquilized by the mayor, and now my own best friend is plotting to murder me! All with this relentless sass! Shut up, dude! This island is making you crazy! Me? Crazy? Yeah, you! Couldn't be! Then who? You! You're the one who's been tumbling around in the woods all day with some exotic love interest and plotting to kill us all! So now, we're gonna kill you, skin you, and then cook you! Exactly like you said you'd do to her! We should move now. Agreed. These ties aren't always so reliable. <sighs> well, it seems I've lost. Like many great pirates before me, this is where my pillaging ends. You have fought well, Mir. Now I ask you to make it quick. You talk too much. Nah, I'm just gonna tie you to the mast. You're going to prison. Fair enough. Do you think we lost them? I think so. Hey guys, I just learned how to murder with wood. This is 
as easy as carpentry! What the hell's wrong with you, dude? How can you defend this insane girl? You're completely ridiculous! Colin, can you not see? You're the crazy one. Take a look at yourself. <laughs> you carry a mirror on you at all times? What do you have, a little makeup kit in there too? No, no, never mind that, just look at yourself. Ugh. This isn't you. I know you. Remember all those good times we had together? never even happened. Come on, Colin, do you really think this girl is trying to sabotage us? I was literally with her while Caleb and Anna were rowing away. I really don't understand why Izzy, that's her name by the way, is such a huge scapegoat for you guys. I mean, I spent the whole day with her and she seems pretty good to me. She's really cool and sweet and yeah, a little stir crazy, but she's just misunderstood. If you just think and take a second to get to know someone, maybe you'd, I don't know, get to know them a little better? Also, we got a photo of that guy with blueprints to kill us. God damn it, what the hell came over me? Ah, uh, by the ear! Ah, uh, alright. Alright, I deserve that. Colin, they're not dead. Are you to explain this? Is that my family? Can you explain this? Yep. Alright, alright, I'll explain. You see? I've saved everyone! Up aboard, Dave! So, your name's Dave, huh? Yeah, sorry it's something spectacular. You know, it'd be a shame to leave something like you behind. Wanna come? Uh, I don't know. Come on, civilization ain't that scary. Once you get used to the capitalism and natural disasters, it's like eating candy. Is that everyone? 32, 29, infinity, 32, 44. Yeah, that seems like everybody. Great, then let's go home. That's a really cute crop top you have. Where'd you get it? Oh, thanks. I've had it for as long as I can remember. Look, we're sorry that we thought you were gonna kill us. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, it's pretty close-minded if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. Honestly surprised you guys didn't just build a raft and sail away. You had Joe destroy them, remember? What? No, I didn't. I have no idea what his deal was about. Anna, throw this man into the brig. Right away, sir. Never mind. My shift is ended. <laughs> See ya. So, uh, what would you like to do now that you're back in society? Want to come back to my place? I'm sure you're dying for some pizza rolls to manifest themselves in your arteries. Hello? I'm sorry, 
sorry, but I don't think I can be here. Everything is so different than what I'm used to. Th that's all right. I'll help you get settled in. It shouldn't take that long to... Thanks for everything. And then I said to her, you can't lead the horse to the water, but you can't make it think either. <laughs> Oh, that's another great horse joke, Caleb! Yeah, that's what I told her, too. And I've got, like, three more where that came from. Hey, Dave! What happened to that girl with the crop top? She kissed me, then ran away. Wait, what? She kissed me, then ran away. Well, you know what they say. They say something. At least we had a pretty eventful day. Like you said, man, a story to tell our grandmothers or whatever. I guess. I just wish it could have lasted longer. Thank you guys for helping me out, and for getting us all back home. My bodyguards tell me I need to give you a big settlement of cash for kind of being heroes, so here you go! Aha! See? I told you we'd make money, just like Tom Hanks! Sixty million dollars? I can't even imagine how many two dollar bills that'll have to add up to. Um, I don't- can you guys like pull out a calculator? I need to know. Divide 60 million by two. I think that's how you find the equation for that. What are we even gonna spend it on? I have an idea. Your eyes are looking banging tonight, Lizzie. Oh, David, my orifices. We waited a year for this? Someone must not have told you about our lane, little lady. You got a debt to repay us. Mm -hmm.